We will now look into dependent motion. So dependent motion is the analysis when one particle or one object in a system depends on the motion of another object. Okay, so we have this simple system here and we have specific steps that we need to go to. So first step is establish a fixed point or reference. And in this system, point O is our fixed point or reference because it's not moving, right? It's staying stationary. And then we add up the length of the cables based on this fixed reference point. So we have SA being the position that block A is away from point O and SB being the position that block B is away from point O. And then we have the length C to D here, which is the small length of cable over top of the pulley. So let's go ahead and start doing this. So we add up the length of the cable. So let's start over here. So we have SA, SA plus this length from C to D, which is the length over top of the pulley, and then SB. And that equals the total length of this cable, so LT here. Now what we need to do is take the derivatives with respect to time. So doing that, we have DSA over DT plus the derivative of this length CD with respect to time. So how is this length CD varying with time? Well, since the pulley size is not changing, the length from C to D stays constant no matter what the time is. So the derivative with respect to time is zero in that case. And then we have the derivative of SB with respect to time. And then the length of the cable is not changing with time either. So on the right hand side we have zero. Now going down here, we know that this, the derivative of the position with respect to time is known as the velocity. So we have the velocity of A plus the velocity of B equals zero. Okay, so what does this come out to be? VA equals negative the velocity of B. Okay, so what happens here? Well, if the velocity of A is one meter per second this direction, and we're calling away from our fixed point as positive, that means VB, VB is equal to negative one meter per second, which means it's getting closer to our fixed reference here. So it's opposite of the arrow how we've drawn SB here. So that is a simple example of dependent motion, and you could probably already tell this by the way it's connected, but now we'll go through a more complex example.